the new Hermes Plein Air H Trio Poudre Mineral Bonne Mine Healthy Glow Mineral Powder. If you've never watched my channel, you would know that I'm really not good at doing makeup. I only do exactly the same thing every time on my face and I don't really change it up very much. So when my essay had recommended their new product to me, which is this. Both her and I were kind of clueless what to pick. It only comes in five shades, but at the same time, they look so different on the pan versus on the face. And because they were brand new and it was the first time of me hearing it, and she was also not very good at makeup herself. And so I told her I will do some research. So I came home, I watched some videos. There were not too many, but just enough for me to kind of get a gist of the fact that it's very well received and that the powder itself the way it looks is very different than on application. I got it in the shade number two, and of course I've already used it. Beautiful packaging, I'm sure you've seen it many times. So very simple carton. Hermes is a somewhat environmentally conscious company. So even their packaging and everything is quite simple. I'm literally the most like makeup noob out there that only knows how to do enough on my own face to just be presentable so that's kind of the review that you can expect from me it's just like my very sort of like general how i liked it okay so i am going to apply the bronzer my face is done my eyes are done my brows are done i don't have any color on my cheeks and of course no lipstick as you can see this is um the color that translates on camera. I do normally correct the white balance on my footage but just for the purpose of this video because I'm trying to show you the bronzer and how it looks on my face I am just leaving it on automatic so it should be just like literally what I look like that's what you should be seeing in real life um, but yeah so no white balance correcting on this video right here um, so yes, this is the bronzer. Actually, let me just do some swatches. I'm not a makeup person, like I said, but um, I think it'll just be helpful anyway. So the lightest part, which is on the side, I'm just going to swatch it on. On my wrist. It's kind of blending in with my skin tone. I have very fair skin tone, but it's kind of on the olive side because... I actually am anemic, so I look on the greener side of the pale because I'm lacking blood from the H. So I guess, I'm not sure if the H is the mid-tone, but in any case, I'll swatch it right beside the lightest shade. So the H is slightly more orangey, I suppose. This is slightly cooler. This is slightly more warm. The two bars right here, I think that's the... I think that should be the darkest shade. Very similar, but slightly darker, like a, a little bit more red. If I were to do some contouring, not very much, but this would be the one I would use. I would probably do this with that one, if anything. Uh, but we'll just use it as is, the whole thing. It does have some kick up, as I've learned on the YouTube community. So this is how much it picked up just from my swiping to do it on the camera. And I like to sort of just like use the remainder to go on my forehead, but mostly on my cheeks. And then swipe it down, not too much, because it's not really the natural place to have a, a tan, but I don't know if you can see any difference. Maybe not, because it's very... Um, it's a very gentle color, I find, um, so which I like. I think in person you see more of a of an effect because right now we have a lot of lighting going on as well, so 
Let's try it on this side. So this side, I do have some freckles too. Yeah, you see it at first when I just first put it on. So that's how it looks like. I think it gives me a really gentle glow without being too overwhelming, you know? And I like that because it's very, like it literally just warmed, warmed up my face. And I, I think it's very pretty and it's just, um, it's, it's just like, like a nice way to just warm up the face so I look less sickly. <laughs> I think one time I tried to use too much and it backfired because it, it looked like I was orange. So I think this is just the right amount to make me look healthy and uh, still look like you can see it on the camera because sometimes on the camera you have to put more to really see. Um, but in any case, I think that's enough. Let me know guys which one is your favorite uh, Hermes blush because I'm kind of liking their powder products. There is a slight scent but once it's on, it dissipates quickly, so I don't find it bothersome, especially because I'm quite sensitive to fragrances, actual fragrances. But on powders and on soaps, they do dissipate, so I find that okay. So let's do some blush, and I'm just doing this color right here, this apricot color. And I'm just going to do... sweep it on. Mostly the apples of my cheeks so I mean I'm probably not doing a great job because I'm not in front of my mirror but you could see that I have a little bit more life on my face now so hopefully I didn't do too much because I can't really see myself let me put on some lipsticks and I'll be right back here is my final look I will link to all the products that I have on my face and the lipstick that I'm using is this one. Like I said, I'm not a big makeup person. I'm not like super good at doing makeup. I just know what works for my face. In any case, I'm a huge fan of the new bronzers from Hermes. They call it the Healthy Glow Mineral Powder, which I think makes total sense because it is really giving me that healthy glow that I desperately need and like you see the color on the pan um, is not exactly how it translates on my face I think on my face it really gives me that sun-kissed glow as if I, I got a healthy dose of vitamin D from the sun uh, but of course I also have my blush now I find that this product a little bit goes a long way and it's a large pan so it should last for a long time the scent, I've actually gotten accustomed to it. I actually really like the scent now, but only because I know it's not going to stay and linger. You just smell it when you open the pan and when you put on the product, but once, I don't know, a few minutes pass, it really is just, it dissipates and it just is just something that you enjoy every time you open the pan. So even though I am quite sensitive to fragrance, like I literally get headaches when fragrances linger, but this doesn't uh, have any impact on me in fact it's quite pleasant every time i open it i kind of look forward to it highly recommend it if you're on the fence and if you're sort of like me you just need a little bit of that healthy glow literally <laughs> that's what i need it's also very nice on the skin like when people were describing this powder as being very finely milled and just very soft and almost blurring i feel it like i'm touching my face and i feel it oh yeah it's very soft it has that like nice not powdery feel but like nice sort of smooth feel to it um, and it's very very natural so if you're quite fair and you're scared of bronzers because they can make you look orange and they can make you look very dramatic don't be this one is definitely build a bow I used this brush which is not a fancy brush it's just the Sigma powder brush the large powder brush it's not that large actually it's their f30 
So it's just this big. You see how the some of the powders is on the side of the rim. Um, it does have that, like that kick up. In terms of shade range for me personally, I love this color. I think number one would still probably work for my everyday, not as dramatic look. But I think number two is just perfect anyway because you could just use a lighter hand and you could just use less, like you don't have to build on. The other product that I have that I'm a big, big fan of is their lipstick, it's this color right here. Not the lip balm, I don't love the lip balm actually. I wouldn't go out of my way to spend $90 to buy this. I don't think it's worth it. Uh, I still use it, but it's, you know, once I'm done with this, I'm actually gonna buy their lipstick and do the refill on this because their lip balm, yeah, their lip balm, or this is called their lip enhancer. The formula, eh, it's okay. Uh, their lip oil is much better. So their lip oil and their lipsticks are fantastic. So this one is in Rouge Amarelle. If I wasn't doing my Hermes journey, would I buy it? Um, I think I would be curious enough to buy it because for me personally, the makeup that really makes my face stand out are lashes, face color, and also lip color. When I have those three on my face, it really brings out my features and it really wakes me up, if that makes sense. So even if I wasn't on any Hermes journey, for example, I might still have picked up this product. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Have a great day and I'll talk to you guys in the comment section. Bye!